Welcome to today's episode, where we delve into the fascinating world of technology, exploring the latest innovations and updates from giants like Amazon, Apple, Google, Microsoft, OpenAI, and community-driven insights from Reddit, covering everything from AI advancements to new product launches and the ethical dimensions of technology in our lives. Here is the consolidated and rewritten version that maintains consistent style and merges related information. Amazon continues to lead in tech innovation with a series of updates and new initiatives. As part of its ongoing commitment to enriching user experiences, Amazon has introduced a capability in Unity for live stream gamers to utilize Amazon IVS. This enhancement includes the creation of Amazon IVS stage and the generation of participant tokens. Additionally, Amazon is analyzing the broader impact of live streaming on e-commerce, considering its potential to transform the online shopping experience. In the realm of smart home technology, the Eero Mesh system has been recognized for significantly boosting home connectivity, despite its previously low profile. Meanwhile, Amazon's commitment to sustainability is evident in its plan to deploy heavy-duty electric trucks in Southern California as part of a move to decarbonize delivery operations. In updates related to entertainment and lifestyle, Amazon has launched the Fire TV Stick 4K, equipped with HDR10 Plus and Dolby Vision, priced at $5,999. With Mother's Day approaching, Amazon is offering significant discounts, including a $50 reduction on the Skylight digital picture frame and extensive deals on electronic products such as AirPods Max, Kindle Scribe, and Asus VivoBook Go 12. Internationally, Amazon is expanding its presence with significant investments in Singapore. The tech giant plans to train 15,000 individuals in AI and invest $9 billion into cloud infrastructure to align with Singapore's Smart Nation and National AI Strategy 2.0 goals. Moreover, the upcoming launch of Amazon Ireland in 2025 with a new fulfillment center in Dublin is set to create 500 jobs and facilitate one-day deliveries. Special promotions include three months of Kindle Unlimited for free. Further enriching its media offerings, Amazon is introducing new ad formats to Prime Video and enhancing connectivity through a partnership with Telefonica for 5G services in Europe. Users of Amazon's virtual assistant, Alexa, will benefit from new guides on controlling Spotify and troubleshooting recognition issues. On the consumer protection front, following the illicit use of a deepfake of a popular blogger to market counterfeit clothing, experts have released tips to combat deepfake fraud on platforms like TikTok. Amazon's endeavors in environmental sustainability and AI are paralleled by its focus on innovations in mobility, as demonstrated by investments in its self-driving robo-taxi unit, Zoox, despite recent scrutiny after two incidents. Stay tuned for ongoing updates as Amazon advances these varied technology fronts and continues its global expansion. In the latest Apple news, we cover a range of updates and controversies from the tech titan. One, new iPad models and updates. Apple has launched several new iPad models, including the 13-inch iPad Air 2024, enhanced with features akin to the Pro models and powered by the M2 silicon chip. The iPad Mini remains popular for its portability and reliability. Meanwhile, the iPad Pro line has received a notable upgrade with the introduction of an M4 silicon chip and a tandem OLED display. Apple Pencil Pro and Accessory Changes Alongside the new iPads, Apple has introduced the Pencil Pro, which is not backward compatible with older models, causing dissatisfaction among users of the second-gen Pencil. Additionally, Apple is phasing out the lightning port on most iPads, maintaining it on just nine products. New accessories have been introduced, such as the Apple Magic Keyboard with function keys for iPad Pro models, priced at $290 or $49. Three, advertising and marketing strategies. Apple's recent advertising strategy has led to controversies, particularly an ad featuring a hydraulic press crushing creative tools to symbolize the iPad Pro's capabilities, which sparked backlash from the artistic community and led to its cancellation following celebrity and public criticism. Apple's marketing moves and community responses are shaping their immediate business decisions, including ad cancellations and public apologies. Number four. Pricing concerns and comparisons. The top-tier iPad Pro 13-inch 2024 
now surpasses the price of the base MacBook Pro, sparking debates on the cost-effectiveness of Apple's pricing across different product lines. Discussions also include Apple's international pricing strategies and the high R&D costs, questioned by figures like Elon Musk. Leadership speculation and potential new products. There is widespread speculation about who will succeed Tim Cook as Apple's CEO as he nears retirement. Alongside this, rumors of potential secret products fueled by Apple's substantial R&D investments hint at new directions for the company. Apple is navigating complex challenges with its new technology and marketing approaches, potentially redefining its future trajectory. Stay tuned for more updates as the situation develops. In the latest Google News Roundup, Google is facing challenges with the adoption of the RISC-V chip standard due to increased U.S. scrutiny and a notable setback as Android support for the technology is withdrawn. This move could significantly impact the global tech landscape. In expansion news, Google Wallet is enhancing its capabilities in India by supporting boarding passes, loyalty cards, event tickets, and more as it partners with over 20 brands. This upgrade aims to improve the digital wallet experience for Android users in the region. Google has also extended the availability of its Circle to Search feature from Android devices to the iOS platform. This integration through Google Lens and iOS shortcuts allows iPhone users to access a search experience previously exclusive to Android devices. On the AI front, Google DeepMind's release of AlphaFold 3 marks significant progress in the AI sector with improved abilities in predicting complex biological structures, potentially revolutionizing drug discovery and various research fields. In regulatory actions, Hong Kong authorities have banned the pro-democracy anthem, Glory to Hong Kong, considering potential restrictions that could affect tech companies' access and distribution of the song. Concerning product updates, Google Photos is undergoing a redesign with its collections feature, which has received mixed reviews from users who find the new design less intuitive for accessing their library. Lastly, the Google Pixel 8a has been upgraded to support 18-watt wired fast charging. However, this enhancement still falls short of the faster charging standards utilized by competing devices. Stay tuned to our podcast for more detailed discussions and expert insights on these developments in Google's ecosystem and broader political impacts on the tech industry. Latest from Microsoft. In a whirlwind of innovation, adaptation, and restructuring, Microsoft is demonstrating both significant progress and facing notable challenges. On the development side, tensions are high within the Xbox division with creators reportedly under significant strain due to broader cost-cutting measures, including layoffs, despite the recent major acquisition of Activision. These pressures are further compounded by delays and updates for Microsoft's flight simulator, escalating tension as the team prepares for the 2024 launch. Corporate-wise, Microsoft has decided to close its Lagos Innovation Center, potentially impacting fewer than 30 staff members, despite initial job loss fears. On an expansion front, the company is aggressively pushing into artificial intelligence with a substantial $3.3 billion investment to build an AI data center in Wisconsin, highlighting its dedication to shaping future AI infrastructure and creating new jobs. Controversially, Microsoft's reintroduction of Clippy in Windows 11 and the integration of advanced AI features in products like Edge and the upcoming AI Explorer underscore a strong commitment to enhancing user experiences with AI. However, this transition is not without its issues. Recent updates to Windows Server have led to operational disruptions, including unexpected crashes and reboots, which the company is working to resolve. Additionally, new tracking features in Windows 11 have raised privacy concerns among users and advocates. Despite these hurdles, there's a significant uptrend in AI adoption within workplaces, as indicated by Microsoft's annual Work Trend Index, showing that workers are adapting to automated efficiencies faster than some executives. Overall, this period in Microsoft's journey is marked by a robust narrative of transformation, highlighting a tech giant at the forefront of technological innovation while navigating the intricacies of privacy, worker welfare, and corporate restructuring, all emblematic of a dynamic corporation in the digital age. In recent OpenAI news, we're witnessing a diverse array of updates, 
Controversies and Advancements Reshaping the Artificial Intelligence Landscape. Community reactions have been intense, particularly on Stack Overflow, where recent decisions to ban users opposing its partnership with OpenAI sparked significant dissent. This collaboration allows OpenAI access to a vast repository of developer knowledge to refine AI models, sparking protests and concerns about the ethical implications of AI-generated responses using community content. On another front, OpenAI is branching out into new controversial territories, such as responsible AI erotica creation, stirring debates over adherence to its original mission. Meanwhile, OpenAI is enhancing its offerings by developing a web search feature for ChatGPT, positioning it to potentially rival mainstream search engines and reshape the tech industry. Technical progress is evident with OpenAI's introduction of tools like the capability to detect deepfake images generated by its own AI, DAL-E. Developers are also innovatively using OpenAI technology, incorporating it into blogging apps through frameworks like Strapi and AstroJS to optimize web operations. Despite these advancements, OpenAI faces hurdles and criticism. Concerns around ChatGPT's application in contexts that involve handling sensitive information, like HIPAA data, raise questions about data privacy standards. Moreover, the international competitive dynamics in the AI sector are heating up, with initiatives like China's Jipu AI planning to launch a rival AI by 2024. Significant progress has also been made in model transparency and user engagement with the release of the model spec and public feedback initiatives aimed at demystifying AI behaviors and aligning developments with user needs. That concludes our update on the recent significant activities at OpenAI. Keep an eye on this podcast for more insights and developments in the evolving world of AI. Here's a streamlined and merged version of the Reddit news topics for better consistency. In the latest Reddit news, the community is buzzing with a diverse array of topics, covering everything from tech advancements to industry updates. Here are some key highlights. One, technology discussions. Reddit features lively conversations about tech challenges, solutions, and innovations, from exploring alternatives to Flask for file uploads and web application pen tests, to managing routing in React Router and addressing course issues, users are deeply engaged. Meanwhile, developers continue to debate best practices for handling varied casing in IDEs, such as VSCODE or IntelliJ. Two, AI and machine learning updates. The platform is broadening its international reach with AI-driven site translations, starting with French. Furthermore, discussions are active surrounding vulnerabilities in AI tools like Gradio, Bento ML, and FastAPI, highlighting both the potential and risks of these technologies. Three development insights. The community shares essential tips on memory management for web developers, utility and usability of frameworks like React and Vue.js, alongside insights on JavaScript functions. At the same time, debates over social media operations provide a broader perspective on software development. Four, innovations in hardware and software. Technology enthusiasts are captivated by the unveiling of the world's smallest computer, now tinier than a grain of rice. Additionally, creative discussions about web development elements, such as a bear-inspired toggle switch, add a blend of whimsy and utility to the discourse. Five, security and safety. Security measures are a major topic, with conversations ranging from safely hacking using mobile devices to tackling data breaches and phishing threats. Users also exchange advice on best practices for application security roles and settings. Learning and education. Reddit serves as a platform for exchanging tips on memory retention and learning strategies, while also exploring the impact of technologies like virtual reality and AI on education. 7. Business and Industry News Updates on the financial side of the tech industry are also shared, including stock surges following strong revenue reports, indicative of robust growth and financial health in tech companies. 8. Community Engagement and Support the platform fosters a supportive environment for mentorship in fields like cybersecurity, sharing coding projects, and celebrating coding achievements together. Stay curious and engaged, whether troubleshooting tech issues or delving into the nuances of new tools and technologies. For detailed discussions on each of these topics, you can visit the respective threads on Reddit. More insights and updates are on the way. Stay tuned.
Thanks for tuning in. And remember to join us next week for another exciting episode of our technology series, where we explore the latest and greatest in tech every week.